Senator Ed Markey gives a closing statement at a climate forum hosted by Stonehill College on Sunday, November 10, 2019. Senator Ed Markey describes the push for another coronavirus stimulus package as the epic battle of his career, with Democrats, Republicans and the Trump administration at odds over boosts to unemployment insurance, stimulus checks to Americans and aid to states and municipalities. The Democratic-led House of Representatives passed the Health and Economic Recovery Omnibus Emergency Solutions Heroes Act passed two months ago, but Republicans blunted the bill in the Senate, where Majority Leader Mitch McConnell dismissed the package as a liberal wish list. One of the major sticking points for Democrats is the HEROES Act's $875 million for states, municipal governments and tribes, which have been hit with unforeseen revenue losses that have forced more than 1.6 million layoffs throughout the pandemic. McConnell and Trump administration officials have argued against providing funding to states they feel are poorly managed. But Markey says without greater assistance from the federal government, state and local governments could face more than $1 trillion in budget shortfalls due to the pandemic over the next three years. As each day goes by, the HEROES Act seems much more in tune with the kind of comprehensive approach we'll need for the whole country, Markey told an editorial board at the Republican newspaper in Springfield on Tuesday. The Democratic senator argued too many red states decided not to learn anything from Massachusetts, New York and Connecticut, and he said Republican governors and senators may get on board with Democrats' push for more state and local funding as new coronavirus cases spike in communities throughout the South and West. Red state mayors and in red state city councilors are realizing that they need help, that their economies are now heading for the ropes, that their hospitals are desperate for more personal protective equipment, more testing, Markey said. Another factor that might generate more buy-in for state and local funding is the Trump administration's insistence that schools reopen nationwide, Markey argued. So far, Republicans have said no to extending unemployment and no to any help to cities and towns, but at the same time, U.S. Department of Education Secretary Betsy DeVos says, we want all schools to open, Markey said. If you don't have help for cities and towns, they're going to be laying off teachers, they won't have food for these kids. I think that facts on the ground, reality, is about to slap them in the face. Last week, Markey noted that in Massachusetts alone, public employee layoffs included more than 2,000 educators in 47 school districts. Before parents send their children back to school, they need confidence that schools are safe and backed by local, state and federal governments, Markey said. Both Markey and his primary opponent, U.S. Rep.